Oh man, it is coming down. Woo! Here we go. Oh man. Oh shoot. What's good everybody? Hope you're doing well. There is a storm that's about to roll in. Uh, right over the lake shore and let's get the awning set up and all the stuff ready to get our camp coffee photography talk underway hopefully we do get some rain crossing our fingers nothing too severe but if we get some uh, high high extreme winds like 50 60 mile an hour winds we're going to be packing up fairly quickly there's a bald eagle right up here on the tree so we can get a couple shots of him before it starts coming down. There is uh, some wildlife over there and looks to be uh, some boats that we'll get some photos of too uh, a little bit later on the hike. We'll take a walk along the beach as well in a little bit if those storms start to roll in. Just to try to get some shots in the bucket. The wind is starting to pick up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make sure that these stakes are in pretty good. I'm gonna put an extra guy line off to the sides. This awning doesn't come with four guy lines. It only comes with two coming off the front. But on days like today where a storm is gonna be possibly moving in and we might get some winds, I wanna make sure I at least have one extra anchor point uh, in the direction the wind is coming from. I also have a couple tarps that I can drape over the sides as well uh, alongside the camo netting just to keep the rain if it starts to you know heavily heavily rain I can keep that off. I also want to thank one of my subscribers uh, he recommended getting me some of this uh, insect repellent but it's not just some ordinary insect repellent it's uh, permethrin and you don't put this on your body like you do you know you're off or any of your other kind of uh, bug repellent, bug spray. Uh, but this is just to treat your gear and it treats uh, your clothing. And it's good for, I don't know, probably 10 different outings. And you'd let it dry over the course of 24 hours. And uh, I've, I've been using it for the last couple of days and pff, <laughs> it's definitely worth its money, let me tell you. Hopefully we can get a cup of coffee started and get our talk going before it rolls in. <laughs> Go 
gonna put my camera uh, right on the top of here. That way, if I see any kind of funnel clouds or any kind of wildlife or any kind of cool action out on the lake, I can uh, just grab my camera off the tripod, run out there real quick, come back in here, and I'll hopefully not get drenched when that rain does start coming in. The uh, camera is gonna be protected, obviously, from the wind because of the tarp and also the top of the awning, so we're good there. I just heard some more thunder, so we'll have to try to make this quick setup. Speaking of the setup, I'm gonna probably do a future video on uh, the rig, on the Jeep here and everything, how I decked it all out and how I made it unique to being a wildlife photography rig on the go. It's for another video though. Right now, let's get this uh, stove going for the coffee and uh, finish up camp. Also gonna do a walk along the beach and try to get some photos. There's actually a boat that's out there right now. I'm gonna see if I can get him. As well as it looks to be like some uh, blue herons flying. Let's see if we can get them. Yeah, they're trying to probably get out of the storm too as it's rolling in. I'll throw those photos up. Nothing too fancy. <laughs> I love a good storm. I do. I actually love a good storm. As long as we don't get like 50 mile an hour winds and you know, tornado warnings and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on the radar as this uh, storm and this cold front uh, pushes through. And I'll probably get the wet weather gear out for uh, the kid, the vlogging camera and uh, the 100 to 500 here. But I definitely feel safe right now underneath this. I really do. I actually love this setup. I, I really love it. I also love the smell of coffee beans. It looks like it's about to start pouring here any minute. So let's get back underneath the tarp and start on our coffee talk with a photography talk with our coffee and our, and our pipe time. Let's go. If we can see any wildlife, typically they like to hunker down, you know, in this type of weather, but you never know. Oh yeah, the rain's starting to come down. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I got my notes right here. So today's topic is many wildlife photographers neglect this very important practice. And what I think most of us do forget to uh, put into practice is this thing about showing our flaws in our photography, showing our flaws in our photos and uh, not being too concerned with how other people are going to think of your photo. Uh, I think far too often, myself included, I am extremely guilty of this. And that is uh, only showing my best work, right? It's a natural thing to do, to want to do, but um, 
you know, we don't see the 10 photos. I've said this time and time again. We don't see the 10 photos before uh, that one banger. And we don't see the 10 photos that we took after that one banger. Uh, so I just want to really encourage you guys today on this photography talk of uh, show your flaws. Be okay with showing your flaws in your photography because it helps you grow and it helps tell the whole story. You know what I mean? of how you're leading up to that one banger. It helps other photographers, especially in the beginning stages of their journey, that you know, we don't have it all together. None of us do. There's no such thing as a perfect photograph, uh, but there's tons and tons of room to improve. And showing our imperfections, you know what I mean? It, the, it's not tack sharp or whatever the case may be, that it's okay. It's okay, it's good. I encourage you guys to do that. I'm gonna do that as well on the channel going forward too, is showing some photos that I think personally may not be just my best photos. Huge tip that we neglect, and that is to not show our flaws. We don't show our flaws enough. Ooh, let me check out this real quick, guys. Check this out. Real heavy rain going down. Making a couple shots real quick in the bag of this storm rolling in along the lake. Check it out. <laughs> Safe underneath the awning. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Oh, there's a, there's a bird out there. I don't know, I can't see exactly what kind of bird it is. Let's see if we can see him. There's a boat that's out there now. Another boat. Oh, yeah, here it comes. I got what I could. I think he's kind of fuzzy though. <laughs> it's starting to come down pretty good now. I'm keeping an eye on lightning, making sure there's no lightning because if there's lightning, I'm definitely uh, packing up really quick and getting out of here. Or if the winds pick up to like 40, 50 mile an hour gusts, I'm definitely taking this bad boy down. But so far we're safe underneath here. With some coffee, a good brew, we're definitely safe underneath here. This is great. Absolutely love camping in the rain, in a thunderstorm, doing some photography. Nothing better, guys. Nothing better. Been trying a new blend lately. Uh, it's uh, non-tobacco or non-nicotine and tobacco-free. I don't even inhale it, anyways. Uh, I just like to get the taste and the aroma. Can't remember the name of it. It's really good. I'm gonna finish this coffee up. Sit back, relax, listen to the rain come in overhead and the storm roll through. Cheers, everybody. Whoa, 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 whoa. Coming down a little hard. Whoa. Oh man, it is coming down. Oh man, here we go. We're gonna go out there and try to get a photo. Oh shoot! So we're gonna try to get a photo of those waves out there. And I'll bring you guys back after the awning is up. Of course, the minute that I get everything back in the Jeep <laughs> and the awning put up, the rain stops and the storm just blew over. I really technically could have been uh, fine for the most part. Uh, those winds were picking up really quick, but it pushed, over, pushed through fairly quickly too. Like a low grade, low profile tent wouldn't be that big of an issue. But with the awning, when the winds get pretty gusty, I do gotta be careful because it's not gonna take much to uh, rip that awning right off the Jeep probably. And I don't want that. A little dark. 
<laughs> That's okay, we got a couple shots in the bucket. Now the rain's coming down a little bit heavier again. I don't know if it's gonna come back through, but I'm waiting to see if we'll see a uh, rainbow or not. Or if the sun peaks out, it'd be gorgeous. It'd be a good, good, uh, good opportunity for some, some landscape photography. Uh, this one passed through. It seemed like it was gonna be pretty bad, but we're so quick. <laughs> Remember guys, there's no such thing as a bad photograph, only a missed opportunity. Get outdoors and enjoy that opportunity that is in front of you with your cameras. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's camp coffee photography talk. Uh, many more of those to come, and uh, especially in this location and many more along Lake Erie and the, uh, the marshes of Lake Erie. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed those photos as well that I was able to get in the bucket. Until the next video guys, take care, God bless, enjoy nature, get out there with your cameras, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.